Neil Carlson down here in South Padre Island, Texas, got caught up with a lot of stuff, and naturally, I missed the launch of the uh, SpaceX Starship from about eight miles from here. I did manage to hear the boom and rattle of the room here. I went around the corner and saw the plume uh, of the uh, rocket as it uh, went uh, across the sky. Uh, we'll show you the uh, SpaceX video of the launch here uh, that eventually uh, lost the actual starship but had a spectacular catch of the booster returning to Earth. Uh, here's that SpaceX video. Three, two, one. All right, we're more than 30 seconds into flight. Telemetry showing 33 out of 33 engines as it's pitching down range. Booster ship, avionics power, telemetry nominal. Now, as that uh, Starship continued on into space, the booster rocket that helped get it there uh, returned to the launch pad. I couldn't talk. That was incredible. There it is. We can see the booster coming back in now through the plume. At least it looks that way to us. Um, it's incredible that it basically returns. It looks like a speeding, um, just like this silver flare uh, coming back to the, the, once again, we are standing by for uh, 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 attempting to catch the booster at the tower. This would be the second tower catch. Ready for See it, 13 engines. Booster now hovering as it aligns with the tower for catch. Booster coming in. Get ready for that boom, Kate. Down to three engines. And while that booster uh, rocket made a successful return to the launch pad, contact with the actual starship was lost. No exact word on what exactly happened yet. It's uh, planned that one day that starship could take people to Mars, uh, but today uh, its uh, flight didn't work. Here's their wrap-up of it so far. Uh, gorgeous ascent and successful stage separation. The booster uh, pushed the ship off and or, sorry, the ship disconnected uh, during that stage separation. The booster came back for a successful, the, six, the second ever booster catch uh, at the launch tower, which was pretty incredible to see. Yeah, it was great to see the booster come down, but uh, we are obviously bummed out about ship. Uh, it looked like we lost contact with it a little under eight and a half minutes into flight. That's roughly when you start to get to that main engine cutoff. Uh, we obviously need to go through all the data. It's going to take some time. In the next hours, days, we're going to figure out exactly what happened, come back, fly the next one, get even farther. Reminder, it's a test. It's a flight test. It's an experimental vehicle. In Texas, I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.